Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke and it's that time again where we introduce the new products in the M5 Stack store. So what have we got for you today? We have a total of seven new products. Let's have a look at them one by one. For the Stick C, we have two brand new hats. We have an ADC and a DAC. For those who don't know, ADC is an analog to digital converter and DAC is a digital to analog converter. Some of you maybe are thinking, well the ESP32 already has an ADC and a DAC built in. Well these modules are using a slightly different chip. The ADC is using the ADS1100 from Texas Instruments and the DAC is using the MCP4725 from Microchip. The chips in these Stick C hats offer a much higher level of accuracy than those built into the ESP32. They have a higher bit depth, more sample rates, and even one of them has an EEPROM built in for storing those values. Okay, let's see what's next. For those that of you that maybe already have a camera from the M5 stack camera range, you might be wondering, is there any way to prolong the battery life? Well, we released this base for the M5 stack camera series, including the M5 stack camera F, X, so on, uh, which has a 400 milliamp hour battery life. Okay. And now we come to our new telecommunication series of modules. We have the ESM module, NBIOT module, and LTE module. So what's the difference? Well, you may have previously seen the SIM 800 module in our store. Since that uses 2G, which is being phased out in a lot of countries, we started to introduce 4G modules. So both the NB-IoT and the LTE module are a subset of the LTE standard, which is 4G bandwidth. You have a choice with the NB-IoT module of either having a helical antenna or an IPEX compatible antenna. And it can be switched between these just by soldering the resistor in the opposite position. The LTE module comes with a flexible PCB antenna and also another slot for an IPEX compatible antenna. Both of these are designed to have low power consumption, narrow bandwidth IoT for all kinds of IoT applications and work just as well indoors as outdoors. As for the GSM module, this is an industrial standard 2G module which also has the option of choosing between two aerials, the onboard PCB aerial or also an IPEX compatible aerial. Make sure to check our docs for more information about all of these different modules and to make sure the frequencies that these modules support are also supported in your country. Finally, we have a replacement screen protector kit. We have all of the tools you need to remove your old screen. There are replacement buttons for both the three face buttons and also the power button and a replacement screen protector. Perhaps over time your screen protector has got worn down or cracked. This is an acrylic cover that comes standard with all M5 stacks. With this kit, you could make your own custom colored buttons or customize the faceplate or just repair your old screen cover. For instructions on how to fit the screen protector, have a look at the docs page, which is down in the comments section. That's all for our product introduction for today. If you have any questions whatsoever about the new products, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you next week. We'll be in Tokyo Maker Fair this week, 
so we'll have some highlights to show you as well. See you next time. Goodbye.